Hi, my name is Brechtje, Brechtje Snell. I'm a physical educationer officially. I was a personal coach for several years, manager of a fitness center, and I cycled the world's highest roads on my mountain bike. Since my age of 25, I had my first stroke to the sickness of Lyme. And uh, I got several treatments for more than 10 years. And after my last treatment of four months antibiotics, I get my second stroke at the age of 39. Both um, strokes um, were affecting my whole body. So I was first paralyzed on the uh, right side of my body. And the second time I was paralyzed on the left side of my body. I couldn't talk, I couldn't walk. And can you imagine if you are a teacher of physical education and you cycle the world's highest roads, you've been an aerobics instructor, and out of the blue you can't do any kind of physical education anymore. Well, you know, this is happening with young girls and you're looking beautiful and you always smile, so you're quite positive and we don't think there's something going on with you. After a year, I started at the Academy of Sports and um, the complaints about my health getting worse and worse and worse. And every time I went to the doctor, I said like, hey, I'm having fever, I'm having pain in my joints, I'm having muscle pain and those kind of things. He said like, oh, it's all about stress. And it's still in your head. And eventually I was like, okay, I will take the device and maybe it's in my head and maybe I'm too stressful. At the last year of the Academy of Sports, I went to uh, India one of the greatest mountain bike uh, trips that I've ever done. And I went sick up there. When I came back, uh, within, three, uh, within six weeks, I lost 13 kilos. I went to the doctor again, and my skin was to stand up like this. And said like, ah, typical Indian disease. This is dehydration, we know. Just drink a lot of stuff and uh, sort out for yourself. You just graduated from the Academy of Sports and really believe us, it's only stress. So it's like, okay, okay, stress, she can't down, but she's still. Eventually, four years, lost still a lot of weight. I woke up in the morning and I couldn't talk and I couldn't walk. And that was my first stroke. And at that moment, I was really like, how is it possible that I was already saying for more than nine years that I was feeling sick? That everybody said to me, like, it's in your head. After my first stroke, I uh, went back to my uh, doctor and I said to him like I'm not feeling well, I'm kind of depressed and I don't know where to start with about cleaning and stuff like that. Normally you can wash a window and you know that you have to start in one corner and you, walk your, you work your way down and I couldn't manage that anymore. So he sent me to this uh, uh, psychiatrist at the uh, hospital and after half a year I felt really terrible. It's all kinds of programming was running in my brain and even my whole head was really painful. So I went back to him and he said, uh, well, how are you doing? I said like, well, I'm, I'm not doing okay. He said like, you know what? I think it's still all emotional. So here you got yourself some antidepressant and uh, please use this for the rest of your life because this is gonna be the solution for yourself. So please take this medication and you'll feel much better. And I didn't. And after half a year, I went back to the doctor and said like, come on, this antidepressive is really not working for me. So I did that by myself. <laughs> and within a month, I cleared myself of all the antidepression. And I was like, I need to find something else to heal everything again. But this is not working like the way the doctor said to me. Since the first time that stroke and how I tried to come uh, back in uh, business again, because I was a young girl who wanted to conquer the world. Um, I never thought that I had a second stroke. And again, it was through the sickness of Lyme and through two little uh, blockages on my valve, on my aorta. So they told me after two months, uh, after the second stroke, that I needed a heart operation. I was really scared for the heart operation because I was really like, oh my God, they're gonna rip up my chest. and. How is this going to be for me? Um, I was really scared. Um, but when I wake up after the uh, heart operation, I felt so big, so free. And the biggest lesson of everything that happened to me was like, stay in the moment, stay in the present, because the present is the best gift what you can give yourself. Live and look through the world around you from your heart. 
that's what's brought me. I always felt a little sparkness within myself, although everything was dark around me. And I couldn't find the key anymore to spread out that vibration of life. Um, what really helped me was start to believe that I can let that little spark grow within myself again. And that was the moment that I decided to quit with all the medication that the medical um, department gave me. If I believed the whole medical system, um, I wouldn't be possible. It's the way I'm sitting here right now and what I'm doing at the moment. But being impossible made me uh, to feel and to believe that I am possible and I am perfect. The way I am like a natural being and listening to myself instead of listening always to what other people have to say and put that into my system. That it's a second-hand belief and I start to believe in myself again. The hospital said to me like, after both strokes, make sure that everything that you learn within a year, that's gonna stick with you. Because after a year, it's gonna be really hard to learn new kinds of programming or systems or stuff like that. So, you know, if you can walk or you can talk more properly or you can cycle again, within a year that's done. And after that year, you can't learn yourself new stuff anymore. And that reminded me about when I was a real small kid and I said to myself, please always give me the opportunity to have experience and to learn. So when the hospital told me, um, if you're having a problem with your right body side and it's not healthy within a year, it's not gonna be healthy anyway. And I was, I am too stubborn for that. <laughs>